Now we are going to talk about the different types of stems we have. We have what we call aerial stems. Aerial stems are those stems that grow above the ground, like you can see here. All these plants have aerial stems. And over there, you can see. So those are all aerial stems. But then there are other kinds of stems. Those stems are clever because they try to prevent animals from getting through to them to protect the nutrients, remember? So those stems that grow underneath the ground, we call those underground stems or subterranean stems. So the next lesson will be um, on different types of subterranean stems and we are going to also look at the different types of aerial stems that we have. But remember the two main types of stems, aerial stems that grow above the ground and then we have the underground stems or subterranean stems that grow below the ground. So let's look at different types of aerial stems. We have erect stems, those ones that grow right straight, tall like this. And these are erect stems. And then we have also another aerial stem that grows above the ground, herbaceous stem. You remember herbaceous stem? Yet there are other stems that grow above the ground, but they are lazy. They don't even stand erect at all. They crawl. So let's go around and look at such lazy plants that have their stems just crawling along the ground. So you can see this stem. It cannot even stand erect like this. So lazy, it's crawling along the ground. So this is a procumbent stem. Look at this one. Can't stand erect. So this is another one just crawling along the ground. This is procumbent stem. Let's look at this. Look at this. All this one, they are just crawling along the ground. Precumbent stem. Then there are even some other stems. They are not just crawling. They are so lazy that they depend on other plants. They just climb on other plants. Look at this one. So this kind of stem, call it climbing stem. Can you see? Just call itself along this other, depending on this plant. Can you see? Can you see how it coiled itself on another stem? So this is a climbing stem. So it talks about different aerial stems, climbing stem, recumbent stem, erect stem. Herbaceous stem. There is yet another kind of aerial stem called shrubs. You may have to look that up. Shrubs. Now there are different kinds of climbing stems. This is an example of a twining one, you can see. So that is called a twining stem. Then there are yet other kinds of climbing stems. I'll show you that those ones have hooks. Instead of twining, they just have hooks that they used to 
hook onto other plants. Then some others have tendrils. I'm going to show you that. Other kinds of climbing stems, those that have tendrils. And then for erect stem, as we've seen before, we have two types of erect stems, shrubby stems and woody stems. And then of course we have the herbaceous stem that we have seen before. It's also an aerial stem, herbaceous stem. So let's look at this chart. These are examples of climbing stems. The one we see here is an example of a twining stem. So this is called a twining stem. This is another example of a climbing stem, but this one has hooks. You can see the hook. So this one is called hook climber. It's called hook climber. It has hooks that attaches to another plant so it can be carried up, as you see here. So these are hook climbers. And the twining stem. I'll show you another chart. So this is another kind of climbing stem. This plant produces tendrils. These tendrils grow out to the sun and attach to something else to carry it out to the sun. You can see here, it's attached. So this stick you see here, so it can be carried out to the sun. And obviously this is looking for another, probably another stick to be able to carry it out to the sun. So these are tendrils. So it is another kind of climbing stem. So you can go out and carry out your own research and find out examples of these various plants that have different types of stems we have discussed. So once again, carry out your own research to discover the plants, the various plants that have these different kinds of stems we have discussed.